She has sparked outrage on social media in recent days after posting a number of controversial claims. She left her side fringe down to frame her face and kept the rest of her mane in place with a floral patterned and sequined bandana headband. She sported a candifless pick frock to match her dresses, with a number boasting embellished detailing around the neck and sleeves. She covered up in a quilted jacket and appeared to relish her break in between shooting as she refueled with a hot drink while enjoying a high-spirited conversation with gigs. It later continues, when I grew up, nothing changed much, anything went, I was famous. I would wake up next to strangers, everyone knows what cocaine does, numbing the pain when the shame comes, hey. She penned via Instagram, so at official gigs at Friars and Me, made a song called Number Trigger Bang, and it is leaked. She explained that the duo had first met at V Festival in 2014, where Giggs had sought out Lily to call her out for not playing her old material during her set and sticking to songs from her new album. Becoming inspired by the rapper, Lily added, everything he does or says has to have purpose or meaning. Having formed a close bond, the duo certainly appeared at ease in each other's company and were seen sharing a laugh while passing time in between takes on set of their music video. Her appearance in the Capitol comes after the star had sparked outrage on Twitter, following claims she had made about the Rochdale grooming scandal. Lily, who is known for voicing her views on the social media platform, had claimed there was a strong possibility rape victims would have been assaulted regardless of whether grooming gangs existed.
That's kind of the issue. However, the singer deleted the tweets and blocked a number of followers after she was attacked by users for vile, sick, and repugnant inflammatory remarks about child victims of sex abuse. Nine men were convicted for their involvement in the sex ring which saw young women, one as young as 13, plied with alcohol before being passed around for sex. The scandal was dramatized for ITV miniseries Three Girls, where Maji was portrayed by Leslie Sharp. Lily tweets came after she had sparked a heated debate after seeming to suggest football should be a band to protect children from sexual abuse. She tweeted the claim during a discussion with her 6 million followers about rape being a more widespread problem than one confined to Muslim men. Alan, 32, said, To be honest I think it's time we talked about banning sports in this country. The mother of two has also come under fire for claiming that women on TV deserve higher wages than men because their shelf life is shorter and more like that of a footballer. They should get more than their male counterparts, or men should get less than them, rather. Now think of all the female actors over 50 you can name. The point being that women have a shelf life based upon looks, a woman is considered very lucky to get on screen work much past 50, men are called silver foxes. Another agreed with Alan but said, if only pay were dependent upon what people deserve and not what the employer can get away with paying in a competitive market. Also, Hollywood pay injustice is low on the list of important injustices in the world today, 